Not Pals and New Pals, happy Wednesday. Today I am going to be doing a first impressions all day wear test review of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Now listen, I know that this is an oldie Okay, I know this has been around for years, but this is brand new to me. My drugstore journey is brand new to me, and a lot of you recommended me to try the True Match Lumi because if you're not familiar, I have dry skin, sensitive skin, and breakout prone skin. So a lot of you said that this would work well with my skin type from the drugstore. Currently, ahead of everyone, out of everything I've tried, I am loving the NYX Born to Glow, and I've actually been reaching for this over my high-end foundations recently. And if you have not seen my review on this, I will link it below, but I took it to the beach and kind of went through a hurricane and you can see the results after that, but I will link that below. Today, again, I am going to the beach and this has SPF 20. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this stands up against a little bit of humidity, sand, water. This foundation retails for $13. It says it has medium coverage, skin improving. Now. This is something I found interesting about this is that it says over time, it clears your skin and kind of reduces any irritation over time. So I don't know if I like it enough, I'll continue to use it. If not, you know, we won't see the results. It says it instantly illuminates the skin in one month. Skin is clearer, healthier, and more luminous. So that's kind of exciting. SPF 20 lightweight buildable coverage that lasts up to eight hours. Okay, this is very interesting. So it's saying it lasts for eight hours. Currently it is 10.30 a.m. I'm gonna stretch this, you know, beast <gasps> as long as I can, okay? Whatever, I, you know what I mean. It says it's safe for all skin types and safe for sensitive skin. It's available in 15 true to skin shades and warm neutrals and cool. This shade that I picked up is Neutral 1-2 Soft Ivory. So I think this is my match currently. I'm kind of in between tan and in between my pale shade. So I think that this will work. It comes in a glass bottle. You get 1.0 fluid ounces. So your basic amount. And I really like the bottle. I think it's very nice, attractive. You could have it out. It says it's 40% pure water for all day hydration. It has antioxidants and vitamin C and E for improved clarity and skin tone. Okay, liquid light technology. I have no primer on. I'm just gonna go through my normal makeup routine. I normally don't wear a primer unless I need to spot treat an area on my skin say I'm like breaking out or I need a little extra smoothing or extra hydration primers I feel are not necessary for every day but to treat your skin and help prep it if it needs more prepping than usual I like to test foundations and see what their claims are if if they're true let's get into this I haven't even opened this I haven't even opened I'm literally gonna cry. So this foundation went everywhere. On my phone, went on my lap, all over my makeup, all over my makeup brushes, everything we have laid out to work with today. This is what we're looking at. Went all down in my basket of brushes. God only knows where else it went. Went on my lap, all over my makeup, all over my makeup brushes, okay? everything we have laid out to work with today. This is what we're looking at. Went all down in my basket of brushes. <sighs> so I have to go clean up real quick. I'll be back. First step of drugstore foundation, take the stickers off. All right, let's try this again. Oh, even with this, without the sticker, this is like really sticking to the, Okay, I'll remember that. Kind of hard to forget. I went all everywhere. Okay, let's see. Let's do, let's start with one pump because as I was trying to clean everything off of the area, it was not wanting to come up and it, you know, it lasted through a minimal cleanup and had a lot of coverage on everything else. So I'm gonna start in the center of my face. Per usual, I do think this is my color. I feel like it looks darker in the bottle, but We'll see if it oxidizes. That was one pump. I'm just gonna go ahead and put about that much on here and start working with that. Well, a perk of this, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like strange sunscreen. But the coverage to me right now looks, it looks pretty, yeah. 
I would say light to medium. I see it picking up a little bit of the dryness around and on my nose, but to be fair, that's just like super dry and there's not many foundations that don't show up a little bit there. I do feel like you really have to work it in and work quickly. I feel like it's set, it set pretty quickly after I started applying because I can see some of the areas need a little extra blending. Okay, so, so far, I feel like it looks pretty luminous. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this is a problem, I just not, today is just not, not the day for things to stay straight. So I, you know, I'm recovering from an immune rash. You can check out my recent foundation reviews to see it in its full glory, but it looks a lot better. It's just kind of looking a little dry around my nose and here. But like I said, to be fair, that was, it's definitely a problem area that doesn't, you know, it's just a problem area and it's gonna look like a problem no matter what products I use. So I'm not mad at that. I feel like it looks a little cakey and I didn't really apply that much. Probably a pump in one fourth of like a normal, cause I feel like that didn't really come out as a normal pump a foundation would. It wasn't that much product that came out. You know, I have larger pores right here and it looks a little enhanced, but I say this with every foundation that I feel like it needs a second to sit because some foundations I have applied and hated, and then after 10 minutes as I apply the rest of my makeup, I end up loving it. So we're gonna just hold off on the hatred right now. Not hatred, but just like <laughs> chewy, not impressed. Okay, so I am going to apply the rest of my makeup See how this sets down? I do feel like this is a good match. I feel like sometimes when I'm closer to the lights, it's hard to tell, but I feel like this is a good match. Good on me, I picked the right shade. And I have high hopes because L'Oreal owns like Armani, YSL, and a lot of the brands that I enjoy their foundations. I always feel like there's high hopes when I try L'Oreal products. The only thing I can't wear from them is mascara. Doesn't matter, like since I started wearing makeup, my mom loves L'Oreal, the voluminous one in like the gray packaging. I've never been able to wear their uh, mascaras. They just instantly irritate my eyes so bad and my eyes swell up, which sucks because a lot of people really like their mascaras. So I have high hopes. I am, you know, tasting the SPF. So I'm gonna counteract that with a little strong coffee. Okay, so it has been about 15 minutes. I just quickly applied some cream shadows and I have to say, this is one of those foundations that I like it much better once it's set, set, sit gave time to set. I don't see any oxidation so far. Really quick, what I did do, I powdered my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And for concealer, I used my Armani Luminous Silk just right under the eyes. There's nothing on my face. It's just the foundation. I use one of my favorite cream blushes. This is the Pixi On The Glow Blush in the shade Juicy. That's all that I put it on the back of my hand and then put it on. I, do this. For highlight, I just put a little bit of M Cosmetics Moonbeam in Halo. It's a really beautiful golden highlight. The eyeshadow duo that I'm loving right now, and it's what I just quickly put on my eyes. It's all I have on my eyes. It's the Rare Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Nearly a Apricot, Apricot. So I put that on. These are beautiful. If you haven't tried these, they're super matte, blendable, and they are liquid to powder really quickly. And I literally just blended this with my finger and these blend out beautifully. And then on top, I've been really loving this duo for sure, but on their own, they're both beautiful. The Kosas 10 Second Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Supreme. It gives you like a really beautiful golden copper orange vibe. On the lips, I have M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in Mink. And the lipstick is Patrick Ta's She's Independent. So we're going to the beach. This really lasts through a lot of humidity, just water. I used the M Cosmetics pick me up mascara. So that's what I have on my face. Let's come close, let me show you. I feel like I'm looking very blurred. The dryness around my nose has like kind of laid down a little bit. I didn't powder my nose or anything. Everything is just this foundation except for the concealer and the powder under my eyes. And this is what we're looking at. And I am very impressed. I feel really good about this one. It doesn't look as cakey now that it's sat down. Um, especially right through here was looking a little questionable, but right now, oh, I got mascara all over my eyes because she was barking and I got, I was jumping. So right through here was looking pretty cakey and dry. It's not 
anymore. I'm gonna take you outside into the natural daylight and then we'll go to the beach. So come with me outside, let's give it a look. Right now it looks great under studio lighting, but we will see in natural light. Sometimes that can really change the game. So humid out here, so I hope that it even picks up <sighs> this lens. I think it is, yeah. So outside, is it is it fogging? It's fogging, it's fogging. I might have to take you in the car. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this in the car. Here we are in natural light. It's now one o'clock, so I started applying this around 10, 30-ish, so it's been two and a half hours, right? No, yes. I hope you guys can see this, but I feel like it's looking a little cakey as it's set. I'm not enjoying this area or this area. It's not, um, I don't know. It just looks like foundation at this point and it's kind of gathering around all my dryness there. I'm gonna try to find a sunnier spot because it's getting cloudy so maybe you guys can tell a little bit more, but I don't know. I brought my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer for dinner tonight at the beach. I'll just tell you that much. I am at the beach. It's <laughs> four o'clock. Um, the traffic was insane, I guess because we're getting close to the four and here comes somebody driving up, but so it took three hours to get here, which is so abnormal, but I feel like, sorry, I'm chewing gum and I can't necessarily take it out because it's stuck on band. So it's been, it's four o'clock, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, 3, 30. So we were looking at five and a half hours. I ultimately feel like this, uh, foundation is pretty cakey. I hope you guys can hear me, especially around my nose. I feel like it did well with masks, like stopping at a gas station and stuff, but it did well with my mask. But other than that, I'm not highly impressed. I'm about to go get in the water, see how it does, and I'm out in the elements, but as far as like being in an air conditioned car for four hours, three hours, I don't think it did that well. And it, it's just definitely not my favorite foundation I've ever tried. Definitely not. The worst, like the Revlon one. Oh my god, that was such an insane review. But that's what we're looking at. I'm gonna have to close my eyes. You guys tell me, you know. I'm not necessarily a big fan. It's SPF in it. I don't know if it'll last out there since it didn't last too well in the car. And uh, we'll see right before dinner what it's looking like. Alright, I'll see you guys later. And this is fogging up now. So bye. Well I just looked at my face and honestly, it didn't do bad, too bad in the water. I mean, my mascara came everywhere, came off everywhere, but the foundation didn't do too bad. It honestly looks better than when I first applied it. I don't know what that says, but um, not bad.